We take all of the points, sort them by one of the axes and split them by the point in the middle. Then we recursively repeat that operation for the subparts building the KD tree. We can use it for searching the nearest neighbors. Let me show you how we would do that right away without any second thought. I would recursively traverse the tree, maintaining the best result. Let's implement that and see why it's wrong. And something is wrong here. This thing is not equal to the closest one. What's wrong? To understand what's wrong here, we have to visualize the KD tree of that specific set of points. Let's do that. All right, let's build the KD tree from that set. We sort all of the points by some splitting axis. Let's say that in this case, splitting axis is going to be X. The splitting point is going to be this. Now we have two subtrees to build, this one and this one. We do the same operation for them, but now the splitting axis is Y. Now we have four subtrees to build. We alternate splitting axis again, so now we are splitting by X. All right, we've built a KD tree. Let's also visualize the same KD tree, but as a graph, so we have a classical representation of a tree, which makes it easier to traverse it manually. And also let's mark the splitting axis on the classical tree view. And also the closest point is this one. Ideally, our algorithm should always return this one. We are looking for the nearest neighbor for 49, and let's see how our search goes. We start from the root. The root is split by X. That means we compare on the axis. 14 is greater than 11. That means we go to the right subtree. And the right subtree actually means that we search in this area. And the left area, which corresponds to this subtree, is completely eliminated. Now we are working with this root. This root is split by Y. That means we compare only Ys. 9 is less than 10. That means we go to the left, which corresponds to this subtree. And as you can see, we completely eliminated the subtree that contains the closest point. What that means? That basically means that KD tree is not that perfect. There are some configurations of KD trees which don't give you right answer if you traverse them in a straightforward way. What do we have to do to avoid that? Basically, on each iteration of the recursive process, we have to check if we're missing a sibling subtree with a better answer. In our naive approach, we found this point as the closest one instead of this one. If we take the distance between the search point and the fake closest one, if you build a circle with the radius of that distance, you will find that that circle intersects the region that we illuminated during our search. This is actually an indicator that we are missing a sibling subtree with a better answer, because that better answer might be sitting in that pocket, which is exactly our case. In our naive approach, we maintain the best result while going to the bottom of the tree. Instead, we should maintain the result while unwinding from the recursion. Basically, when we trace back all of the visited nodes. And on each iteration on unwinding, we have to check if the sphere with the radius of the best distance intersects a subregion that we eliminated during the search. And if it does, we have to try to search for a better result in that eliminated subregion. It sounds a little bit complicated, but I'm going to publish all of the source code from this video on GitHub. You can find the link in the description. So I strongly recommend to download it and try to understand it. Because it's really cool when you finally got it. All right, let's finally implement that. It's actually not that difficult as it might seem. It's almost going to be the same, except we don't have to keep track of the best point, because we care about it only when we unwind the recursion. If the root is none, we're going to return the none. So it's going to be our special value. Any result is better than none. It's like minus infinity. Any number is bigger than minus infinity. So none is going to have a similar meaning. Any result is better than none. Next, let's identify the splitting axis. And here we have to answer two questions. What is going to be the next branch? 
and what is opposite branch. As we mentioned before, sometimes we will have to go to the opposite branch just to check if there is something better there. Okay, if point is less than the splitting point, that means that the next branch is going to be the left one. And correspondingly, opposite branch is going to be the right one. Otherwise, next branch is right and the opposite one is left. From here, I want to stop and introduce a helper function. This function is going to utilize our meaning of none being the worst result ever. I'm going to call this function closer distance. This function will take three points. The first one we're going to call pivot, the second one's p1 and p2. What this function should return, it should return either p1 or p2 depending on which one is closer to the pivot. p1 and p2 can be equal to none. None should be treated as an infinite distance. So let's try to implement this function. Let's handle the non corner cases. If p1 is none, then we return p2. If p2 is none, we return p1. If p1 and p2 are nones, we'll instantly get none. Because in this case we have two infinities, which one is smaller, neither of them. Let's calculate the distances. And let's return the point depending on the distance. If d1 is smaller, we have to return p1, otherwise we have to return p2. Okay, now we have to perform a recursive call. We invoke kd3 closest point for the next branch for the same searching point a little bit deeper. This recursive call should return us some result, some best known result. We should check if the current splitting point is better than the result returned by this recursive call. And to do that, we can use our closer distance function. So basically, we're just checking which one is closer to our searching point, the best result from the recursive call or the current splitting point. And now we have to check if there's probably something better on the other side of the tree. The indicator for that is the distance between the point and the best is bigger than the distance between the search point and the splitting plane. In that case, we just have to perform almost the same call, but for the opposite branch of the tree. And instead of the splitting point, we use the previous best. And once everything has been checked, we return the best. Okay, let's see how it works. Kg tree, closest point, kg tree, pivot. And here you go, we found the closest distance using nearest neighbor search algorithm on KD3. And yeah, so we can even see that it's actually closest point. All right, that was my quick overview of KD trees. Of course, there is more than that. There are operations to mutate KD tree. The performance analysis of the data structure is rather interesting because in the worst case scenario, KD trees are not better than linear search. I heard that you can also perform range search on KD trees, and I kind of imagine how to do that. That. Basically, instead of point, you will have some region and the region will subdivide depending on the splitting planes of, of the KD tree. But I decided to put all of that outside of the scope of this. I'm going to publish all of the source code on the GitHub. Feel free to clone it. Feel free to do whatever you want with it. Send me issues. Send me your pull request. Please let me know if I made any critical mistakes during the video. For the critical mistakes, I'll make a follow-up video with the explanation and detailed analysis of the mistake. Okay, I think, I think we're done with that.